Hello, my Leo, Leo, Leo Lions. I am here for your June 2019 forecast for the entire month of June um, because I have been slacking on your guys' readings. So I figured we'll just do the entire month of June at once. That way I don't have to stress out about doing more readings. But look at all these cards we're going to be using, okay? So we're going to cover the entire month of June. So I want to just preface this reading by saying you may want to rewatch this a few times throughout the month because this is a lot of a lot of information to absorb. A lot of it's not going to make sense right now. You're going to need to rewatch it. So let's talk about a couple important dates. First of all, the new moon in Gemini is June 3rd coming up in a couple of days. Then we have the full moon, which I believe will be in Sagittarius. Don't quote me on that. But that is on the 17th of June. Then we have the summer solstice, so the first day of official summer on the 21st of June. Um, and we're going to cover a lot of information. So again, this is for um, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And um, I'm just going to say this. Well, I don't know yet. I might not. Um, yeah, <laughs> you probably will want to rewatch this video a few times throughout the month okay so the first thing we're going to do is go over overall energy and theme of june we're going to use the lenormand and the everyday witch tarot for that then we're going to go into what needs to be released i have an essential oil deck uh, we're going to go into what wants your attention and i have a crystal deck then we're going to go into new moon manifestation which is the psychic tarot then we're going to go into full moon what needs to be released with the archetype cards and then finally just any last messages or extra guidance with the Ancestral Path Tarot. So let's get in. Let me move this pile of cards back here so that I have room. And how are you guys doing? I've missed doing these readings. I'm sorry that I've been slacking. Okay, Leo, let's all take a deep cleansing breath together in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay. So we're going to start with the Lenormand. What does Leo need to know for June 2019? The bear. So money and work. The anchor and the child. Okay. So for you Leos here... Yep, the bear is representative of your career, your money, your job, your work. We also have the anchor, which is kind of a similar energy. It can be a little bit about work, but it's also about burdens, things that are holding you down, things like that. And then we have the child, and the child literally represents children. Um, for many of you, this will represent your actual children that you have. Um, if you're somebody who's watching this and you don't have a child, then it can represent like your inner child, but typically it will represent actual children, okay? So I guess it could mean nieces and nephews as well, but for most of you, this is your actual children. So right off the bat, what this tells me is, you know what, you guys, it's June, it's summer. Um, yes, I know we have to work, but maybe you're working too much and you need to not focus so much on the money and the burdens of everyday life and have some more fun with your children. They are only out of school for three months and you guys, it flies by so fast and, um, you know, make sure to, to, to spend some time with your kids. Um, this is what vacation is for. This is what your PTO, paid time off and vacation hours are for to be used with your children. So um, many of you Leos, you're working too much and it's actually going to really take you down. Okay, because we have the anchor, it's going to pull you down. I know that we all need money, it's whatever, but your kids just want your time. And they're only going to be this age once. They're never going to be this age again. We're never going to have this time with our children again. Okay. So that's that message. Now let's get into the tarot. Um, again, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot for Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have the reversed Three of Swords. Uh-oh. Three of Swords is typically about breakups and heartbreak, but it is reversed. So, okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, which is about, you know, making a decision, making things happen. Also, it can be a feeling of being overwhelmed, but mostly it's a 
good power. It's a powerful energy. You're you're in your power. You're making things happen. We also have the strength card, which is your guys's card because it is the Leo. So you guys have all this energy here to manifest and make things happen. Um, but we also have the three of swords here, which is, you know, usually about heartbreak. Um, in its upright position, I want to just quickly look at the reverse the reverse meaning. This is just my standard tarot book that I keep. Let's look up the reverse three of swords. Because so I have a feeling this is a card that is better to get in the reverse position, okay? In the, in the upright position, it means somebody be cheating on you and somebody's getting ready to break up with you. But in the reverse position, it says there is still confusion, loss, sorrow, upheaval, but in a lesser degree. So maybe you're going to have uh, maybe you've been going through some heartbreak. Maybe there has been some drama in your relationship. Sounds like that's going to kind of continue a little bit into the month of June. But don't worry, Leo, because you know what? You are strong. You can make it through this. You can make it happen. You have all the tools that you need. And the wands is about passion and energy. And look at this freaking tornado that she's created here. Like, you can do this. Don't let your romantic relationship stop you from you know, being powerful. Um, I also am just going to quickly, let's just check into the book's definition of, this isn't the book that comes with the deck, but again, this is just standard. Right or wait, where are you wands? Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Oh yeah, good. That's what I thought. Eight of Wands is, this is what I'm used to looking at. So that's why I was a little bit confused. Eight of Wands is about passion, things coming in very quick, but it says great haste. So something happening fast, great hope, rapid advancement, that which is on the move, hasty communication, messages, letters of love. So maybe if you have had a breakup, you guys are going to have a reconciliation because it says letters of love. This is again about passion coming in hot and heavy. And, you know, again, you're in your greatest power. Even though we're not in Leo season yet, you are in your highest power. The sun is shining. The sun is your guys' um, planet. So, of course, you guys feel the best and most powerful in that element. So, if you've had a breakup, things could be getting better. Um, yeah. Again, this is... For the whole month of June, so you might want to rewatch this as the month goes on. All right, let's get into the next thing we have here is what needs to be released. So we're going to be using this beautiful essential oil deck for that. For Leo, what needs to be released? Almost got it, and then it went back in. Ylang Ylang, which is the energy of awaken. It's time to wake up, sleepy heads. And this is a spiritual awakening, not a physical awakening. What else needs to be released? Well, it's the card of destiny. We'll talk about what the release part is. So these cards have a trigger statement, which is like the shadow element. And so that's what we want to release. So on the destiny card, the trigger statement is, I am lost. So no, you're not. You're right where you're supposed to be, okay? You feel like you're lost. And guess what you have with an awakening? You feel like you're lost because you're not doing your spiritual work, Leos. Um, you're been, you've been focused on your physical body and your looks and your job and your, you think that's who, but you think that's what makes you who you are. You are who you are because you're a child of God and you're a part of this, um, you know, universe. That's who you are. Who you are is on the inside, not on the outside. So it's time to awaken from that. And the trigger statement on that card, the Ling Ling, says, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do and I don't know who I am are basically your cards. Uh, so it's time to release that limiting belief and find out who you are and find out what you're here to do. And I promise you, it probably has something to do with your damn kids because we've got the kids up here and not so much to do with work, okay? And also honoring your own inner child as well. Um, so anyway, Ylang Ylang is a, is a great essential oil to use for that. Um, it says that, take time today to engage in your senses and create. 
The tension that has been dividing your head and heart is leaving. And then the other, the awakened card is Roman Chamomile. And um, it says, there is a path waiting just for you. Open your heart and mind so that you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. So through the month of June, when you start to feel lost, like you don't know who you are or what you're here to do, you know, you can use um, Roman chamomile and yiling yiling, but you can also just use the statements. And again, if you need to rewatch this, the true statement is every moment is a new opportunity. So you can use that as a mantra. When you feel like you don't know what to do, then you say to yourself, every moment is a new opportunity. And when you feel like you're lost, you're going to say, I do what I love. What do I love to do? And that's what you're going to say. Those are your mantras. Okay. And now for what wants your attention, we're going to use the Lavish Earth Crystal deck. This is a gorgeous deck. For Leo. Well, that was quick, Leo. Blue kyanite. I love me some blue kyanite. Um, I have a piece of black kyanite right here. Kyanite is very flaky. Um, blue kyanite is similar to this, but it's just blue, obviously. I find blue kyanite very good for anxiety. It's good for your throat chakra, okay? But let's see here what wants your attention. And it says, keywords are meditation, journey, discovery. Discovering who you are on a spiritual level, like we just talked about. Um, so... It says here, early travelers sometimes used blue kyanite as a compass when exploring unknown territories. Is there a need to explore your own inner landscape? Yes, there is a need for that. Um, go within and discover the unique talents only you have to offer the world. Bring out into the world that which only you have the power to offer. The rest of the world can hardly wait to see what it is. Embrace the part of yourself that is unique. This is an example and actually an extraordinary gift that you give to those around you. Show the world your genius. And again, meditation, journey, discovery. Okay, so if you're not already meditating, you need to be. Um, yeah. Sorry, my kids are just getting home from school. Okay, next up we have is the um, new moon. What you want to be focusing on for the new moon which is on the third. Rich. Cassie. Today's the 30th of uh, May. Okay, four. Hey! I'm doing a reading. Let them, let them both out. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so new moon. Spiritual union, uh, the cancers got this as well. Spiritual union. So for those of you guys that were going through the breakup, you're going to want to work um, or going through a difficult and challenging romantic life. You're going to want to um, manifest romance and the loving spiritual union that you deserve. Okay. And we also have it next to the devil or the temptation card. So this is about manifesting the spiritual partner. Maybe he's not the most attractive. Maybe he's not the makes the most money, but he's the one who will feed your heart. And I think you guys have been picking partners that are about sex and power and money. And look where that's gotten you. Right? So it's time to focus on manifesting this relationship. And even if that means you stay with a partner that you're with, I want you to be focusing more on the spiritual union, not just the sex and the money and the physical part of your relationship, but worrying about growing the spiritual union. That's what you're going to manifest. And a great way to do that would be to include your partner in on a new moon ritual that you guys can do together. I do my new moon rituals every month with my partner. And it really has brought us very close together. Our spiritual union be on point. Okay, next question or next area of um, focus is the full moon. What we want to release for Leo. What are we releasing in the full moon of June, which will be in Sagittarius? Okay, this is the archetype of scribe. So somebody who's like a writer or a journal or a storyteller. And we want to focus on releasing the shadow attribute here, which says altering facts or plagiarizing others work. So, you know what, Leos, you guys are here to be seen, and sometimes Leos will do anything to be seen, including being somebody that they're not and trying to mimic other people. This is here to tell you, be authentic. 
be who you are. And especially if you're, you know, writing things like blogs or you're on social media, make sure that it's authentic to who you are and you're not plagiarizing. Um, be authentic. So the light attribute here says preserving knowledge and information. Um, also, it says altering facts. So don't, don't be, no fake news, <laughs> basically. Um, releasing your qualities that make you not authentic to you are and chasing the light of others. You're here for you to show your own light. Okay, what else needs to be released for Leo? Slave, the archetype of slave. And the shadow attribute, which is what we want to focus on releasing, says giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear or making your own choices. And Leos oftentimes do give up their power to other people because they don't know who they are. And that's what Leos are here to figure out is who they are and to be in their fullest power. Okay. So we want to switch that around to the light attribute that says surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. So instead of surrendering your power to like a boyfriend or somebody at work or a best friend or a parent, you want to surrender it to your guides, to your higher self and to the divine. Now on to summer solstice. I need a, a breath. Okay. I need a moment. For Leo, who is the goddess that we want to be working with? What is the energy of the goddess for Leo for summer solstice June 2019? Guinevere. Okay, there's one of here. And it says, ooh, true love, true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So again, back to the great union and back to the three of, um, back to the three of swords reversed. Yeah, you guys have had some heartbreak. You guys have had difficulties with relationships, um, probably even divorces and a lot of failed relationships even um, infidelity and things like that. But if you're in a relationship, you need to move past it and work on building the spiritual connection. If you're not in a relationship and you've recently had a, bro a breakup, you need to be manifesting this partner, not this partner. Remember, we're done with this energy. We want this partner. And true love is available for you. Whether that's a relationship that you're already in, you can still change that dynamic. It's never too late to change the dynamic. And if you're single... Let's work, let's work on manifesting the right one. And the summer solstice is a great time for manifestation similar to a new moon. And now finally, we're going to just use the ancestral path tarot as an opportunity for last minute guidance for Leo. We're going to take that to will of fortune. So things are going to be moving forward. Things may be coming to completion. So for some of you, that breakup, it's going to be done. And it's really going to be done, but it's meant to be done. Um, and we also have the king of sacred circles in reverse. So some of you guys, this could be an earth sign male. So a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus could be on their way out. This is the completion of that. Um, we also have the seven of sacred circles. So this is about what do we want to create? What do we want to manifest? So really taking the time in June to do your manifestation ritual and your um, summer solstice ritual. And then finally, and um, Cancer's just had this too, which is the reverse um, eight of swords. Eight of swords is that card about feeling trapped and feeling like a prisoner. But the only thing keeping you trapped are your own limiting thoughts, anxieties. And all you need to do is remove these swords. Nobody's there to stop you but yourself. Okay. So Leo's. Don't spend so much time at work. Let's get out there and play with our kids. Be with our kids. Be childlike. Allow your inner child to come out. Being authentic to yourself. Being in your full power and your full strength. Really focusing on your romantic relationships. And if there are some breakups, I would let those people go. I think the breakup was meant to happen based on the world. It's time for something new. If there's not a breakup and you're married and you're in a committed relationship but things are hard... We really need to focus on growing that spiritual union. And if you're single, we need to pick the right guys, Leo. No more of this guy. We need this guy, okay? 
So I hope you guys appreciated the reading. Um, I want to do some readings that are called Pick a Pile. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those before. Um, they'd be much easier for me to do. You guys would get more readings more often. But I need some ideas of themes and questions or what you guys would want me to do the Pick a Pile on. So please leave me your suggestions below. As always, I appreciate like, comment, um, shares, subscribes, etc. And I just really appreciate all you guys who view my videos. Even if I only get 10, 15, 20 videos viewership, it means the world to me. I hope that you guys take something of value out of these. And um, what I get in return are your guys' likes, comments, and subscribes. So let's make this an equal exchange, please. And thank you. And we'll see you guys again next month. Bye-bye.